Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember that the energy can be reversed. Could be the person that you're thinking about. These are going to be love readings. So, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here okay we got pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you all right okay let's get into the reading chemistry and pay attention to red flags so if, if you're in a relationship or working on one, maybe with a Scorpio, working, Scorpio, okay. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm feeling a little bit of odd energy here. Hold on. Let's see. Clarify the chemistry. Come on now. Shovel. All right. Possibly waiting for someone. Okay. It's three of wands. It's, it's waiting on something. So you or the other person is waiting on something. But there is chemistry here. All right. Somebody's feeling like they're stuck. Yeah. Eight of Swords. That's feeling like you're stuck, but not really stuck. See that? The way the cards are the way the card is. Wiggle out of those ropes and remove the thing from your head. Walk right through the swords. Blow them down if you want to. Um, and then step over the puddle so I mean it is what it is you're feeling stuck no matter if you are or not or they are Claire whoa hello I'm gonna jump right out of my hands clarify the eight of swords please three of wands eight of swords Queen of Cups. Yep, yeah, this is you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you're dealing with another water sign. Somebody very nurturing, loving, caring, giving. Um, three of Pentacles. Group of you might have manifested something. Or a few people have manifested something. That's my manifestation card. So a few of you guys have, have definitely manifested something. Could be with three-party situation. And that's why somebody's feeling stuck and waiting on something. Okay. And... Here we go with the hangman and the knight of wands. 
So this is this is definitely got some passion behind it. Whatever this is. And it's towards you, Pisces. This is a Pisces card. Um, but somebody's stuck. Somebody's somebody's stuck. In your own energy, probably. Because you can be illuminated on the path to get you down. All right. What's these red flags all about? Red flag. For my Pisces, Knight of Pentacles. So somebody is coming in really slow. <laughs> Whoever this person is. Is coming in really slow. It could be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But this is the slowest night in the deck. All right. Clarify. Pentacles. It's a brand new start. Brand new passionate start here. Need to have strength, or it's a Leo, or both. <laughs> okay. Whatever this is, there's red flags all over it, but it's telling you it's a brand new beginning, regardless, and you need to have strength to get through it. And here we go again with the Scorpio card. Um, this is, this is a, a death and rebirth in your love life. Or it's a Scorpio. Wow, we got Scorpio, we got Leo. Pisces. Wow. And somebody's hanging on to something out of fear. So... You need to find out what that hanging on to whatever it is out of fear. Or you could be hanging on to the Scorpio out of fear. Alright. <laughs> All around energy is the Ace of Cups. Pisces, whatever's going on here, you know, it looks like Something that you may be holding on to, this Knight of Pentacles, you you might be holding on to it out of fear. But it's a new start, and you need to have strength. After all this, it's a new start. Do pay attention, though, because I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know what you want to say. Um, looks like somebody's just taking forever. And it's making somebody else wait. So, take that. How it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, it's probably not, probably not for you, okay? Um, let's go ahead and pull some... Angel Oracles and uh, Hidden Realms, and that'll be your read. All right. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Hands are just all over today. Law of Attraction. Wow. Okay. So whatever this is, is it, you're manifesting it. I mean, there's no question about it. You just got the Law of Attraction and the Magician. So whatever this is, 
you you you're manifesting it in into making it that victory that you want but somebody's still holding on this it could be a scorpio that you're dealing with that's hanging on something out of feel fear because that's what i see so if you're dealing with the scorpios holding on to something out of fear it's right here all right and that's why you have to pay attention to the red flags each thought is an investment that pays an immediate dividends so invest wisely you have the power to choose your thoughts and align with them with the love peace and harmony at your request we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies okay so you're you're manifesting this whatever it is that's what you're waiting on or somebody's waiting on like I said, the rules can be reversed here. Somebody might be manifesting you. In the hidden realms, when they come out upright, they're an ally and reverse their challenge. And some of them are both. Or an ally only. One more time. And we got Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what we get from the hidden realms. Dreamwalker, dreams, the collective good, and illusions. You got that upright. Okay, I'll get my book. Dreamwalker. Okay. When the dream walker is your ally, dreams really do, really do, really can and do come true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Still, there those, there are two kinds: those of the small self and those of the divine. Spirit has a dream for you, and your that is yours alone. And all you need to do is ask, and it will unfold like magic. You also play an important and unique part in the divine dreaming of the world. When you ask, "Is this dream for me?" serves the greater dreams the most beautiful visions for your life serves the highest good for others too just ask just the act act of asking will immediately provide the answer the dream walker is beside you to help you move effortlessly through the illusions observing the truth and celebrating the waking dream of your life that results so yeah i mean it all kind of says the same thing Watch out, but it's it's safe to move forward. Okay? So this new beginning, you're going to need to have strength in because somebody's holding on to something out of fear. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. All right? I hope you like that. Please comment below if you did. And like, subscribe, and, sh like, subscribe and share. Gosh, I'm having a hard time talking today, guys. Sorry about that. But um yeah. This is this is this is a pretty good spread. Okay? Take care. See you next time. Bye.